Hello, welcome to your video on direct variation. Um, we are starting this um, concept and chunking it down. So the first part of your notes is strictly going to be just about writing the equations. So you will be able to write direct variation equations um, from graphs, tables, and rate. But before we can do anything with direct variation equations, we have to know what direct variation actually is. Um, and what that is, it is um, proportional, um, which you have already learned that it means it is a straight line um, that goes through the origin. The key, those are two key things. It has to be straight and it has to go through the origin. Um, and there is a constant rate of change. In other words, your slope is consistent throughout. Um, it, so direct variation is proportional. Uh, the second thing you need to know is it is written as y equals k times x. Um, and we will talk more about k in just a second. The last thing that you need to know is that direct variation is an increase increase or a decrease decrease. So in other words, as one thing increases, whatever else is there, it increases. So for example, if you're talking about the hours you work, as your hours increase, the more your pay increases. Um, the other option would be a decrease, decrease. So as X is decreasing, whatever that is, um, the amount of hours you worked. As you're working less, your pay goes down. Um, so either of those options um, are part of what direct variation is. It will be either increase, increase, or decrease, decrease. Um, so let's talk more about this equation y equals kx. Um, that is how you will see direct variation equations written. Um, so become very familiar with that. K is stands for constant. Um, why it's not the letter C is because we speak the English language and things don't make sense. Um, the K stands for constant. And there are some things that we know about constant. Um, K means your slope. It mean, And we know slope is Y over X. Okay. Um, so K essentially means Y over X as well. Um, it also means rate and it means unit rate as well. Um, and a fun thing, if you take y equals kx um, and you get k by itself, you have to divide it by x, and that's how you actually come up with y over x being equal to k. So that makes sense to you. That's a fun fact for you. Um, but this is huge right here. You need to know what k means. Um, it is slope. It means the same exact thing, y over x. It is your rate, um, and it is your unit rate. And we've already talked about that unit rate and slope are the same. Um, and so it's just connecting all of those pieces together. K is now also means the same thing as all of those things. So same word, different, uh, or different words, sorry, same meanings. Writing an equation from tables is what we're going to talk about. Um, first up, and we'll just start with this one here. Um, there's two different ways that you can write your equation or find out how to write your equation. Um, the first is that we know that um, we need to use the form y equals kx. And we know that k is slope. Um, so you can find slope. In other words, your constant rate of change. Um, two ways you can go about doing that. You can do same old, same old. Change in y and change in x. Change in y is adding 4 every time. And your change in x is adding 1 every time. So my change is 4 over 1, which is just 4. So slope um, is 4. K is 4 then, because they're, the, they're the same thing. Um, the other way you can go about doing it is that you know slope is y over x. Um, and so you can take y over x for any of these um, coordinate points. So y over x, um, oops, we don't want to start with 0, 0, 0, 0 is the exception because every line, every table that we have for direct variation goes through the point 0, 0. So anything beyond that, we can do y over x. So 4 over 1, that equals 4. Um, we can do the next one. 8 over 2, that can be reduced down to 4 over 1, which is 4. Um, same thing continues, 12 over 3, that can be reduced down 
to 4 over 1, which is 4. Um, and you do it again, you'll still get 4. No matter how you do it, you're going to get 4 as your constant rate of change, um, or your slope, or your unit rate, um, whatever word you want to use to describe that. So because that's 4, we can write our constant, our k, is 4. Um, and so that means our equation then is going to be y equals k is 4, and then x, we don't change anything else. We're just um, dropping in whatever k is. So whatever our slope is, whatever our rate is, whatever our unit rate is, whatever our rate of change is, okay, that all means the same thing. That's the only thing that you're changing um, when you're writing your equation. Um, we'll do another one. This one here. Um, again, you can do same old, same old change in y over change in x. Um, it doesn't matter. This is your change of 3. This is a change of 2. So change in y is 3 over x is 2. Um, so that's one y. You could also do it your y over x that we talked about. So 3 over 2 is just 3 over 2. 6 over 4 can be reduced to 3 over 2. Um, either way, you're going to get the same thing. That right there is what k is. Okay, k is 3 over 2, so then when I write my equation, it's going to be y equals k is 3 over 2, so 3 over 2x. Um, that's my equation there. Writing equations from graphs, um, we're still going to use y equals kx, and we know what k is. k is slope. Um, among other things, other words. So we're going to find the slope of this line and then write our equation. Um, you can pick any point as long as it is exactly at a crossing of those points. So as I look on this line, um, it crosses here at 0, 0, which it has to in order to be direct variation. Um, and then the only other point that it crosses exactly on is this one right here. Um, nothing else is exactly in the corner. This one's close, but it doesn't count because it's not exact. So then I'm going to find my slope. Slope is change in y over x. So my y is going up three spaces, but we have to look at what we're counting by. We're 100, 200, 300. My change is 300 over my change in x, which is actually counting by 1. So that's nice. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. My change is 5. Um, and then if you don't know mental math, you can always pull out a calculator. Um, but in this case, 300 divided by 5 pretty simple math there, is 60. So my slope is 60. That means k is 60, because um, slope and k are the same thing. So now when it comes to my equation, I have y equals 60x. Just do another one here for you. Same thing we're talking about, slope um, or rate of change, whatever. All those words are similar. Um, so I can find my points here, and they have them nicely labeled for you um, as to what they are. So it doesn't matter what points I pick, I'm going to pick these two. Um, my change in y is then um, 20, 40, 60. My change in x is 1, and that should be true of all of them if I were to do this. Um, my change here, oops, sorry, I can't count. My change here is 30, going from 60 to 90 is 30 miles, um, and then this one should be 30 as well, which it is, this one's 30. So they're all a change of 30 on the y-axis and a change of 1 on the x, um, and so k is 30, which means my equation then is y equals 30x. Last thing we can do is write equations from rates, and unit rates are a special kind of rate, so we can do that as well. Um, we've talked about rates um, before. You can write them um, here, 25 hours or dollars per 10 hours. Um, and this, we now know that unit rate is the same thing as a rate, um, or sorry, is the same thing as slope. So my slope here, I can reduce this down um, 2.5 over 1. Um, now, we don't typically like to have decimals. You could, but we don't like it. So I would actually change this. Um, 2.5 written as a fraction is 2.5. 2.5 2 
turn that into an improper fraction, I have five halves is how you're going to want to see that. Um, we just found the unit rate um, or the rate simplified down, um, and that is k. So k is five halves. Um, so when we write our equation, it would be y equals 5 halves x. So basically just finding the unit rate from that rate. Um, the other way you could do it is you, you know that it's y over x. Um, and so if you know that x is hours is your x, you can um, just go from there too. Um, here we have 60 miles per hour. Um, 60 miles per... One hour is what that means. So here I have my unit rate already, which means my slope, because we know that unit rate and slope are the same, my um, unit rate is 60, which means k is also 60 since it's the same thing. So my equation then would be y equals 60x. All right, it is your turn to write Two equations in y equals kx form. Remember, you're substituting in whatever um, k that number is for k. Um, number one, you have a table. So you can use your notes to help you if you need to. And then number two, you have a rate. And you can use your notes to help you too, but then you should be coming up with answers. Um, show all of your work, and then when you're done, you can check in with me. All right, here are your answers. Um, if you didn't get these, make sure you are figuring out what, how the correct answer is, what it is, and then showing, um, bringing those questions to class if you have them. Thanks for watching. This is the end of your video. Have a great day.